Welcome to Deepa Life Family YouTube channel. Please subscribe and get ready to be inspired, transformed and uplifted. Happy viewing. We're building a church and then uh, somebody says, uh, you know, I, Pastor, I started coming to the church and I hear what you say. I won't say I'm born again yet. I won't say I, you know, give a pass mark to everything you say. Pastor, you know you're a peculiar man. You know, there are things you say that, you know, that pastors don't say. But in any case, I've been coming to the church and they say they need money. And I'm surprised, you know, people give, people give. I, I, I suppose what they're giving is not enough. And then we still hear announcements. Pastor, between you and I, I have a lot of money. And I can write up this project just like that. One check, I cover everything. And uh, you say, you don't understand. This thing will cost us billions. It says, Pastor, I know. I know. I've done it for that church. I've done it for that church. And here I am now. And I'm willing to give, even if it's two billion, three billion. He wants to put it on record. Out of the money I stole, I give deep and live three billion. And then there are people God provides through a thief, through a robber, through a rogue, through somebody stealing from other people, or through people who are killing, killing others so they can make money. If you want to get to heaven, or want to build sanctuary, when the rapture takes place, we're not going to take that. You see, though some believers, what had happened is this. They understand the laws of prosperity. And the law works for everyone. There are laws that govern everything. In fact, when God created Adam and Eve and everything was available, he gave them a law, dress and till the land and keep the garden. The Lord wanted them to do something. He gave them a law so that the prosperity he has given them will abide for them. You understand? As we look at the father of the nation, Abraham, Abraham was prospered by the Lord and instead of Abraham envying the wicked Abimelech and all the other Gentiles they envied him come to the New Testament and Peter said Lord we're forsaking all what shall we have he said all of you that are following me that are forsaking land and houses and brothers and sisters he says you will inherit a hundredfold in this life and in the life to come eternal life and Paul the Apostle said my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. What I'm saying is there are laws that govern everything. Believing and obeying the laws of prosperity. Number one, you need to desire what God has promised. If you say, I'm all right, I accept my situation, when I get to heaven, I'll be happy. I'm not happy now. I cannot pay school fees now. I cannot pay house rent now. But thank God there are believers. They're charitable. They're helping me. I'm all right. If you are all right like that, nothing else will happen. But number one, a desire in your heart. I have a desire to be a possessor of what the Lord has provided for me. Number two, inquire. You inquire. What are the laws of prosperity? What are the promises of God that he has given to his children? How can I come into the flow of the success and the prosperity that the Lord has provided for me? Number three is to acquire. 
you acquire the skill that is necessary you see in the world in which we live today we now need to make we need to know how to use the computer we need to understand how to find information from the internet the students today is not like the student uh, 20 years ago that he has to go to the library and all he can find is in the library books it has to be all the information uh, the information is there in the on the internet and even the way they study and the way the teachers uh, give instruction it is through that uh, method they're able to give and if you don't acquire the skill of the modern life how we do things how things are done you'll be left behind what I'm saying is the promise of God is there for you but then you are not going to be looking at unbelievers and saying well that's them that's them the unbelieving students are making first class well whatever I just want to go through this life I don't uh, desire you must desire because the Lord has said you will be the head and not the tail I will not be the tail I said I will not be the tail and there you admire admire you see and look at yourself if you were able to have a personal car if you were able to have a personal house if you were able to educate your children if you were able to put food on the table every time how would that be see yourself like that and appreciate that and admire that kind of life you see it is that it comes from the inside the one who is lacking behind the one who cannot move forward is from the heart the one who cannot produce anything is from the heart but you admire when you get there not if because you are getting there and then you say when i get there this is what i expect and i admire that i admire myself succeeding admire myself prospering admire myself being able to help other people you admire now you require it's going to take some effort and then you require this of yourself you speak to your soul get up in the morning you speak to your soul get to work you speak to your soul find work you speak to your soul get started in whatever you have to do get started and move forward you will require of yourself you see after we finish primary school secondary school nobody and no teacher no lecturer is going to run after us if you are at the university for example and you don't go to class nobody is going to you know whip you penalize you that's your choice if you go to university and you want to join gang and clubs no lecturer will say what are you doing why are you doing that but it is you that will be the policeman after yourself that will wake yourself up that will say i am going to do this when you come out of school out of university nobody is going to say you know get up and do this if you decide to keep on sleeping till 10 o'clock in the morning nobody is going to say anything to you that's your choice that's your pattern of life you are the one to require of yourself this blessing of God that the Lord has provided for me I will get it I'm going to come from the back of the queue and I'm going to get to the front of the queue that's what I require of myself I will do it I didn't hear my people and then you perspire you are ready now to perspire you said it will take sweat in the sweat of thy face that will eat and therefore you're not afraid of your sweat you're not afraid of getting tired you're not afraid to get out in the morning and then to go out and perspire there on the field and perspire there tax your brain if you leave that brain and you don't tax it it will go dull it will go dormant it will go dead and for example look at my right hand are you looking up 
and then if I hang it on a bandage and I leave it there, nothing wrong with the hand, nothing wrong with the bone, nothing wrong with the muscles. I hang it there one week, I don't take it out, and then one month, I don't take it out, and they say, uh, Pastor, brother, what's happening to your hand i just want the hand to rest i don't want it to be active or to do anything i hang it there for three months by the time i remove the bandage and try to stretch it it will not stretch it has become used to that position it's dormant it's useless it's dead the same thing with the brain you have a brain how many of you have brains put it to work put it to work tax it that's the perspiration you perspire and then you inspire when people look at you you are a go-getter when people look at you you're visioner when people look at you you are up and running spiritually you are up materially you are up professionally you are up in every area of your life no bone in your body is dead or weakened every part of your life is what it ought to be your life will inspire other people if so and so can make it i will make it if daddy can make it the children will make it in jesus name the believer must have a work on hand and it is that work that you do if it is small start there if it is not what you're expecting start there i be graduate but the only work i can get is this start there and it says the lord shall bless all the work of thy hand and thou shalt lend unto many nations that's the kind of amen you have. Yeah. And thou shalt lend to many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. You will not borrow in Jesus' name. Thanks for watching this video. Please, don't forget to like, share, and comment. God bless you.